Oh well. My name is Najid Harris. As you may not know, I um on the twenty second I bought the PS Vita. I started playing it and um I got obsessed in Marvel Marvel Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. But today my Vita froze on the bus and I was almost about to cry. But um I figured out exactly how to do it. I know some other people have but some people have it. And if your Vita does freeze, see mine it's it's no longer frozen because I'm frozen. But however yours froze while it's loading or while it's in the game, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the power button. You see, this is these are the volume right here. Wait, let me. This is the volume over here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the power button for as long as possible. It might take about maybe 15 seconds or 20 seconds. You're just gonna hold down on the power button. When you hold down on the power button and you keep holding it, eventually what's, what's going to happen to the Vita is whether it's stopped or not, or if it's frozen, the screen's going to go black. Then it's going to come back on. You're going to see the PlayStation sign, and then it's going to be a black screen. The first one that it's on, it should be a list of things. It should say, restart your PS Vita. Just press X. And basically what that means is that you're you know pretty much like it's pretty much like doing this it's off it's pretty much just like, like that that was standby it's pretty much see I turned it off it's pretty much just doing that just turning it on and off is what it's doing so it didn't reset anything if you have things in there it still has you know your pictures or whatever it doesn't mean you know restart the memory enough so that's what happens sometimes, you know, the Vita, um, I guess, froze. So, you know, just hold the power button and then press restart your PSP to turn it back on. Don't get scared. And don't start opening up crap either. Don't go in there with a screwdriver and start plucking shit. Because if you move this and take this off and something busts, hope you got that $30 warranty when you first got the thing. Because... You better go in there and be like, hey, yo, a truck ran over or something because they ain't going to give you no free one. I paid 250 for this. It ain't, it ain't all that to be broken off, no, frozen. So that's how you fix it. Only a few people right now know it. But, you know, in case it happens to you, you know. All right. I'm out.